For at TV, the world is thinking. There is an asteroid discovered in December 2004 called Apophis, named for the Egyptian god of death and darkness. <laughs> it was named only after its trajectory was identified to intersect that of Earth. Had that not been the case, we would not have named it Apophis. Could name it like Tiffany or something, or Bambi. <laughs> you know, something not threatening. This one was headed towards Earth, Apophis. All right, once you discover an asteroid, you gotta wait a little while to get enough of a segment of its orbit to calculate what the full orbit will be to know if it will come in harm's way. So, we did that. We, the community, I wasn't the one, we got peeps who do this, okay? <laughs> so, peeps, if you're over 30, means people, okay? <laughs> Forgive me. If I say you got peeps, it's people. It's actually a loving phrase, right? It's not little yellow marshmallow. They're not, no. right. So, we get the orbit. Turns out, in the year 2029, the month of April, the 13th of April, a Friday. <laughs> Apophis will come so close to Earth that it will dip below our orbiting communication satellites. And it is the size of the Rose Bowl. It'll be the largest, closest thing we have ever observed to come by Earth. Now, of course, a much bigger asteroid took out the dinosaurs, but we weren't around at the time. So this is in, in the era of observing the cosmos with technology. This will be the closest, biggest thing we'll ever see come by. Now, the orbit we now have for it is uncertain enough, because these things are hard to measure and hard to get an exact distance for. The orbit is uncertain enough so we cannot tell you exactly where that trajectory will be. We know it won't hit Earth. We know it'll be closer than the orbiting satellites. There is a range, a 600-mile zone. We call it the keyhole. If the asteroid goes through the middle of that keyhole, it will hit the Earth 13 years later. It will hit the Earth. 500 miles, sorry, 500 kilometers due west of Santa Monica. So it doesn't matter where it goes through that keyhole. Now, It'll that's if it goes through the center. Ah. If it goes through other places within that keyhole, then the contact point shifts further into the Pacific or closer towards Las North Vegas America. Or something. Yeah, right. Yes, okay. But if it goes through the center, it hits the Pacific Ocean, plunges down into the Pacific to a depth of three miles at which point it explodes, cavitating the Pacific in a hole that's three miles wide, three miles deep. That will send a tsunami wave outward from that location. That's 50 feet high, five stories. Oceans don't like having holes in them. <laughs> so, this three mile high wall does what? You say that so timidly, sir. Uh, <laughs> collapses. It's a three mile high wall of water. Thank you. Falls back into the hole. Sloshing against itself with such ferocity that it rises high into the atmosphere and falls back down to the ocean, cavitating the ocean again. So now you make a cavity a second time. This cycle takes about 50 seconds. You can calculate it, okay? So here comes the first tsunami, and 50 seconds later comes another tsunami. So there you are on the beaches of Malibu, 
tsunami comes in. Now, unlike the tsunami in Indonesia, which was one wave that went deep into the shore, this first wave needs a supply of water to exist so that the next wave actually sucks back on it to create itself. So, this tsunami will only go in about a quarter of a mile. <laughs> We have the sound effects person in the upper <laughs> row there. So it only goes in a quarter mile before it gets sucked back out for the next wave to come. Here's the problem. Whatever was there on the coastline is now brought back out to sea. And the next tsunami brings it back to the shore. All the million dollar homes in Malibu, they get taken out to the sea and then back. But this time they're in a slightly different shape, okay? <laughs> and so what happens is all, all, the, all the artificial stuff, all the houses, the factories, they get churned into this ablative force that sandblasts the entire west coast of North America clean. So have a nice day for that. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, but, but this big school, so. I'm sorry, I said uh, 13 years after 2020, I, I misspoke. Um, it's April 13th, 2029, and if it threads the keel, it will hit Earth April 13th, 2036. So it's a, it's a um, seven year.